do that. So the first step to doing an optimization problem is, first and foremost, understand the problem. Okay, and what does that mean? Um, identify the information you need to solve the problem. Okay? So um, here's what I have, here's what I have, here's what I need. Second, come up with a mathematical model for the problem. Okay? Um, how does that happen? You could draw pictures. Um, introduce a variable. Now, it's very, very important that when you work with these optimization problems, you are only working with one variable. So what's an optimization problem? Optimization means just like, um, you know, like what is the biggest box you can make out of this? What is the largest number that fits these requirements? Okay. okay? So, so maximum or minimum? Huh? It has a lot, yeah. Okay. okay. And then using that variable, write a function. So it's important, it's important that you work in one variable, okay? So for example, if you have height and width and volume, right? And like if, if you say, you know, V equals, you know, let's say height times W squared, that's not going to work. Within the, within the function, it should only be one variable. Okay, so like if you have width and height, maybe you, you, you have to figure out a way to write the height in terms of W, okay? You so have to like, make one variable go away. So if like the height is 10 and W is 5, that would be like uh, height. Is right, well, if it's w. like, yeah, if it's like W, like if you have W, then height might be W times 3, okay? Mm -hmm. Things like that. Okay, so you have to um, write the function. Then we graph the function to figure out the domain. And this is important because all of a sudden now, it's not just some random mathematical equation. It's now an equation that relates to a particular problem. And if you're working with, you know, a sheet of metal from which you need to create a box, right, then your domain, like if, 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 if you're talking about like the, the length of the box, it can't be a negative number. Okay, it can't be, you know, bigger than the amount of material you have. So you have to determine what values of the variable make sense to that problem. Okay, and then here comes sections 4.1, 2, and 3. Find the critical points, identify the end points, okay, solve the equation, and then interpret the solution. And this is perhaps the most important part in that um, does this now make sense? Okay, now how could you now make sense out of this in the context, the physical context of the problem? Okay, so we're going to start with this one. Um, an open top box. An open top box is to be made by cutting squares of side length x from the corners of a 10 by 16 inch sheet of tin and bending up the sides, right? So we cut it the way it's shown here and then you bend up the sides and you have um, an open top box, right? That looks like this, okay? That's, uh, okay. Um, how large should the squares be to make the box hold as much as possible. So you, you, you want to fit in as many Krispy Kreme donuts as you want. Um, how the area? how much should you cut? So we're looking for how large should the squares be. So from here, we cut out, look, you cut out squares of X. So how large should X be? Okay, should the squares be, in order to make the, the box hold as much as possible, what is the resulting maximum volume? Okay, now. So we know what the sides are in height and Right. Before you cut them, this was 16 inches and this was 10 inches. Of the 16, vertically, I cut out an X on top and an X on the bottom. 
So now what's remaining is 16 minus 2x. And this entire thing here was 10. Out of that 10, I cut out an x and an x, so now I have 10 minus 2x left. Okay? Right, so now the box, right, this one side is 10 minus 2x. The long side is 16 minus 2x. And how much is that vertical height that I cut? It's just x. Okay? Now what we want is the volume. So let's write an expression for the volume. It's length times width times height. Yes. So volume is, what do you mean? Get what? Oh, no, wait. Get the formula? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Are you going to get, I thought you meant, are you going to get one of these problems? And the answer is yes. I'm ruining the element of surprise. Are you going to get the formula? Length times width times height? I have way too much faith in you. Length times width times height. Okay. So that's 16 minus 2x. 10 minus 2x and x. You are. Well, yes and no. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's let's multiply these two, and it'll be 160 minus 52x when you do it all out, plus 4x squared times x. And then v, so far I haven't done any calculus. So far this is the exact same problem that I would put on my algebra 2 tests last year, okay? And then v is 160x um, minus 52x squared plus 4x cubed. So this is an expression for the volume. Oh, today. Okay. So this is the volume. What we want now is v prime of x. Okay? Because we want, a, we want maximum or minimum, which is volume. v prime of x is 160 minus 104x plus 12x squared. Now this is a very basic straight derivative. Okay? Now, v prime of x, right, we can factor this out. We can factor out a 4. Let, let me write it in the proper order. So 12x squared minus 104x plus 160. And v prime of x is equal to, I can factor out a 4, and I get 3x squared minus 26x plus 40. Alright, and this I'm going to factor. I'm going to go off to the side here. There's not that much more. So this is going to be 3x minus 20. 40. 3x minus 20, sorry, 3x minus 20 and x minus 2. Take my word for it. Are we going to have to factor stuff? Possibly. You'll have your calculator with you. Oh, okay. Now, okay. Okay. So, um, let's think about a, a proper domain here. So, this is the amount that you have to cut off of the corner. So, the least amount you cut, let's say, is 0. And the maximum... Now, if one side is 10, the most you can cut out is half of it. So it's going to be 5, right? Because, like, you, you have a sheet of metal and you have, to, you have to, like, cut out a box. Like, you have to cut out a square from out of it, right? How much can you cut so that you could cut equal sides? 5 and 5, right? Okay. So now, okay. So x from here is going to be 20 over 3, and x is going to be 2. How much is 20 over 3? It's like 6 point something. That's not in the domain, so throw it away. 
two totally is. Two comes here. I reasoned it out. If one side is 10, and I'm going to cut out equal sides from the left and the right, the most I could cut out is 5. So should we also make like a number line for the length, too? No, just one. Like, this is your, your limiting factor. Yeah, oh, this is your limiting factor. Okay, so if we plug in a 1 into V prime, right? This is now V prime. If we plug in a 1, then we're going to get a negative. No, a positive. Positive. Yeah. And then if we plug in, let's say, 3, don't do that. We're going to get a negative. Okay? So, goes up, comes down. Okay? So, what's the maximum? 2. So, x is equal to 2 is the maximum. So, that means the squares should be 2 by 2. Okay? 2 inches by 2 inches. Alright? Okay, now what is the resulting maximum volume? What is the volume when x is equal to 2? Uh, you plug that into this one. Okay? Or, you know what, it's easier to plug it into the original, this one. So it's going to be 16 minus uh, 4, which is 12. 10 minus 4, which is 6 and 2. 144 inches cubed. All right? Now, your homework for Monday is to study for the quiz. Um, uh, and then this homework